everyone welcome back to another video on the channel today we're back on GT Sport and we're back with another different type of race we're driving the Raptor pickup truck for this race you can see there in P1 Bam Kaiki one of the fastest sim, ra sim races you're going to come across in sim racing a very fast driver um, he got, he's only recently got GT Sport and he's doing really well putting himself in the top 10 stars right at the front so I think he's going to be one of the big players in this game in the future he's extremely consistent and extremely fast we're starting P2 and we're going to try and stay in his slipstream and try and make a move the slipstream is very strong in this game you can see there all the raptors getting away in the start round willow springs um, a tricky car to drive but a little bit easier than i expected this um it doesn't slide out as much of the rear it had plenty of grip and um, just had to get used to it i changed the brake balance and moved it more frontwards and it seemed to help me out a lot i got myself also into the top 10 stars with a 32.4 um bam kaiki had a 32.2 so we were a little bit behind but i think his race pace was definitely one better than mine but you can see there I'm in his slipstream I'm going to try and put some pressure on him try and see if we can make a way past him you know try and you know while I'm in the slipstream I've got a chance because the slipstream is so strong in this pickup you can see there the cars behind using some of the dust and dirt like I am you know this car can run over that dust and doesn't get affected you can see it there we're all just using a bit of dust to widen the entry into the corners and really getting on the power as early as we can as again this game looks absolutely amazing you know if these pickup trucks go around this track it's something totally different than what i'm used to but it was great fun and i fully enjoyed driving this guys you can see now looking back from bam kaiki you can see we're going to try and pick up that slipstream you can see it building up and building up very slowly um, i'm not running any counter steer assist obviously again in this um, race i don't like using it i don't know if other people were. i didn't check i didn't even look to see if anyone else was using it or not so um i don't know whether it would have been good in this car i haven't got a clue but um you can see again we got really good exit from that corner which really helped me you can see the slipstream building so come out of that slipstream fairly early and get myself down the right hand side and we're going to try and make a move what i'm going to do here though is i'm going to break early and try and do the undercut on him so you can see i break early he breaks late trying to cover that corner i do the undercut and get myself a nice clean exit from the corner and that's pretty much a textbook overtake we've got ourselves slightly in front but i'm going to give him space on the right hand side you can see from his screen there we're looking back at from his car there looking as i'm giving him space on the inside just in case it did. you know these cars are really long so I wanted to give him space just in case. Now going into this corner, we're fully ahead now. Going into this left hand corner, I'm gonna break pretty much just short that 50 turning. We give him a little bit of space, there's a little bit of contact, but there's no issue with that, you know. A little bit of rubbing you know in these pickup trucks is no issue and you know no penalty given there and um, we're going through this corner and oh, the driver from the inside absolutely swiped bam kaiki into the um, dust on the side luckily he didn't get dragged off and lose too much time so let's go back and have a little watch of that overtake i really did like this overtake you see they're breaking early i take the tighter line give myself a wider entry point and get on the power much earlier than what kaiki can do and that puts myself into the lead and in the lead in this pickup truck race early races in this i was struggling with it I had to go back on and just work and change the um, brake balance. Once I'd done that, I found that um, this car was much better with a front bias on the brake braking. Um, I was using rear bias, and um, that's why I thought would have worked, but it didn't. The front bias was much better on this track, as you can see there. He tries to make a comeback on the inside. I close the door a bit. There's a little bit of contact, but nothing massive. You know, these pickup trucks can take a bit of contact. But then watch the um, white pickup truck completely. He goes to that inside line and just gives him a little nudge. It's a little bit naughty, but you know. He kind of had the right to make a move there in a way, but I think it was a little bit naughty. And bam, Kaiki ends up all the way down there in P3 after the uh, another white pickup truck there goes off the track. And now we've got to try and maintain this lead because I know how fast um, Bam Kaiki is around there. He was definitely 100% faster than me on this track and car combination. Um, so I had raced him in a previous race and he had better speed. So what I had to do now was try and build up a gap while he's trying to fight that air. Um, white pickup truck there in p2 and we, we're just trying to keep it smooth i'm trying to keep consistency i'm trying to keep it reasonably smooth this this truck was really hard to drive you know it had on the steer and you had to just be really like careful with the lines as you can see the white pickup truck got on the dust on the exit of that corner that's going to give bam kaiki an opportunity to make a move now into turn one he's going to go down the right hand side you can see ourselves up ahead is he going to try and do something similar to what i did he's actually a little bit further ahead so he's going to try and hold it around the outside he tries it around the outside you can see there's a little nudge from the, the white pickup truck again which is a little bit naughty i think but it's you know part of racing i think in these pickup trucks it just generally t did tend to be a little bit um dirtier but I can kind of understand it in these cars compared to your like, you know, your lighter cars. You know, these cars can take a bit of a knock, and you can get away with it. But they're going side by side now into these corners, 
and you can see myself just up ahead trying to keep it cool trying to keep reasonable lines <clears throat> this is helping me out you know it's giving me the opportunity to build a little bit of a lead up and just get out of that slipstream um, and luckily for us um, we, we built up a gap just before Bam Kaiki gets himself into P2 so now he's going to be coming for me he definitely had a pace advantage so I've just got to try and keep my call and try and keep the car on the track as much as possible you can see our lap 2 was not a, not the best lap really that was when we were obviously um, doing the overtake so we lost out a bit of time on that lap 3 was going to be a bit better as we um this is lap three i think this lap put me on a, a 32.8 i think it's or 32.9 we'll have a little look as we go over the line you can see that we built up a bit of a gap you know we can see bam kike in that middle screen and on the delta he's 1.9 seconds behind at this stage 1.8 i was really weak through th th this is one thing willow springs is a fairly i like the track but i have trouble coming out of a few of the corners the last corner i'm okay getting the exit speed but the taking the speed into the corner i really do struggle i don't know if a um, counter steer assist would help you out in that regard but um also on one of the back straights i seem to lose out on the exit of corner speed so i do still need to work on my speed at this track but i do enjoy it it does promote good racing and it's a fun track but it's just not one of my stronger tracks as you can see there we've got the lead up slightly we've actually gained a bit through these sectors on this track and um, you see there lap three was 32.9 and um, it was the fastest lap of the race however i pretty much knew that bam kaiki was going to be able to destroy that lap with the lap times I'd seen him do in other races so we're doing okay in these sectors you can see I'm okay through this part of the track it's mainly coming off the before we get onto the long stretch of back straight in a minute that corner before we get on there I seem to lose a bit you can see now we're maintaining two seconds he's caught up a little bit through there but then we get a reasonable exit there and we get it back over two seconds the lead and then this is the part where I lose this corner here is where I lose a lot of time I don't know if I'm being a little bit too gentle in terms of not taking enough of the corner off in terms of getting on the um, dust you can see bam kaiki already starting to gain big time now and that's without slipstream so you can see the difference it is he seems to be able to get on the power a lot earlier than me coming through that corner and he's gaining 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 down the straight now so we're 1.8 seconds ahead and we're going into the final lap and um i start i must admit this lap wasn't the best again i think it was like a 31 33.1 the lap i'm on now which is not a bad lap but i should have really been in the 32s in another race i did i was doing um, 32 sixes and sevens and eights but i think with the pressure of knowing that bam kaiki was behind me um, i started just trying to be smooth you know i knew i had a 1.5 it's a 1.3 second lead now as i didn't get that final corner done very well at all you can see that's where we lost a lot of time on that lap um, with a 33.1 i think if we would have got that corner better we would have probably have been in um, a 32 six or seven but he totally messed that up and now he's only 1.1 seconds behind and he's gonna be in our slipstream very soon so he's closing in on us every you know at such a rate that he's going to probably be on the back of my car before we get to the end of the lap because once he hits that slipstream and the fact that i was just trying to at this stage i was just trying to keep the car on the track and you know i felt like i had enough gap to be comfortably beating him and um, with over a second and a half going over the line i thought i'd be able to do it without much worry but you know he's on a charge look at his lap um previous lap of 32.3 which was nearly nine times faster than my lap so he's gaining 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 and now he's in the slipstream and this is where the strength for the slipstream is really going to help him out you can see i've got a tried to be really aggressive on there but i went a little bit too aggressive and you can see now he's gained even more through there he's now seven temps behind and now the slipstream is going to kick and you see me go over to the right hand side of the track trying to lose him from that slipstream he's getting closer and closer now as we work our way down the back straight look how strong the slipstream is it's gaining nearly a tenth every few seconds he's now under five under half a second from me and he's really strong on this final corner so i've got to try and hold him off for this final stretch of road to the finishing line i totally messed that corner up you can see i tried to do a wide line to try and give myself a strong exit because i knew if i get a better exit speed i've got more chance to hold him off down the straight as you can see now i get a reasonable reasonable amount of exit speed he's going to go over to the right hand side to see if he can make a move and he just about finishes behind us just under a tenth behind us however he did have a second penalty but what an, a, a really fun race to be involved with again in you know something different you know i'm normally doing the gr3 gr4 cars and gr1 and this was fun this was a pickup truck and it was great fun to be racing against one of the fastest sim racers you're going to come across in racing and i have to say he would have beat me um pretty much easily if it wouldn't have been for himself getting knocked off the track he had definitely 100 percent more speed than me and he was definitely the better driver of that track but we pulled that move off which was a nice overtake which got us in the lead fair and square and um, i did enjoy that overtake and i look forward to racing bam kaiki again um, it's going to be one of the big big strong drivers in this in this game i think he's going to be up there with trl lightning and i look forward to seeing some of the battles that some of these guys are going to be having in the future there is a lot of strong drivers coming on to gt sport now i think everyone's getting on to the fact that this game 
is going to be big and it's going to be doing well in the esports um with esports regards so hopefully we're going to see some even more big drivers coming into the game when it goes official anyway guys hope you enjoyed that video i'm going to be back with more gt sport a set of course and project cars 2 very soon thanks again for watching everyone make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos we're uploading every single day on gt sport so make sure you check them videos out thanks again everyone